Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 horror film, The Power. A film that is written and directed by Karina Faith and it stars Rose Williams. Who plays a character called Val, who is a newly qualified nurse in the 1970s. And she sets to work at her, her new hospital. However, something that happened in the 1970s, and this really did happen, uh, for those of you uh, outside the UK, is we used to have a lot of power cuts in the 70s. There were a lot of strikes and things connected to the minor strikes. And to conserve the power, uh, there was like a lot of power cuts during the evening and things like that. So she's working at this hospital, she gets on the wrong side of the matron and she's forced to work a double shift which will lead her into an evening shift uh, where the power gets cut in the hospital um, and as you could imagine it all becomes a little bit uh, spooky. While she's working this night shift at the hospital um, some strange supernatural occurrences start taking place that slowly reveal a very dark um, and sordid past uh, connection, connected to this hospital uh, and she becomes increasingly concerned for the safety of herself and others within the hospital. Right, what are my thoughts on The Power? Well, I saw a trailer for this a couple of weeks ago and I thought it looked really, really fantastic. It reminded me of The Vigil, um, a film that I re reviewed last year that I just thought was fantastic and that's 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 been continually picking up buzz as it's gone on. It's been reviewed by Chris Stuckman and others uh, following its release. Um, and it was a really, really atmospheric and well-made horror film. And I was hoping for the same with this one. Do we get that? Um, partly, yes. I think what we get here is a really very nicely made horror film that doesn't rely on cheap jump scares. Um, it... it it works very hard on, you know, uh, building tension, setting the mood. Uh, I mean, who who is who wouldn't be scared of walking round uh, a pitch dark hospital in the 1970s? I mean, that and alone, the premise itself is very, very frightening. Um, and then with this malevolent supernatural entity in there as well, uh, that is very, very angry. Um, it just adds more ingredients into the mix and I think the film does a really really good job of poking the fear fire if you like I think it does a really really good job here and it's helped by a really fantastic performance by Rose Williams uh, not just in the acting department I mean she's fantastic in that sense but a very very physical performance by her as well very impressive physical performance by her uh, and if you watch the film, you'll know what I mean. She she delivers on all counts here, and I really, really enjoyed her character. Um, and it, it made the film uh, even more impressive, in my opinion. It it was, you know, um, it dealt with a lot of, like, the stereotypes from the 70s, you know, like, uh, doctors, you know, were seen as gods, and, you know, you could barely even look at them and talk to them and this kind of stuff, and what they said uh, goes, really. Uh, and that all actually ties into the storyline here at the film. Um, in regards to, I mean, there are there's some genuinely unnerving moments in the film as well, and 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 shocking moments and uh, scary moments. I jumped um, more than once uh, watching this film. It was very very good, very very unnerving scenes um, that went on in the film, and they were really nicely structured as well. Sometimes. Even when you knew the scare was coming or something was coming, it still scared you, um, which is impressive. Sometimes a horror film, you know, will set something up and you know it's coming and it doesn't really land the scare. Well, I think all the intentional scares here in this film pretty much landed for me uh, and they all worked pretty effectively. There's a couple of things that I think let this film down that just stop it elevating to you know, a really excellent horror film. Um, I thought the score at times was unnecessarily loud. Uh, it was all, it was too overbearing. There was like this overbearing, spooky music playing over anything that was happening. Um, and I, I didn't need it. I mean, it was far more effective when it was silent before the scare. Uh, I think horror films always are with the silence, so you don't know, generally speaking, something's coming, but you suspect it might be. Um, and for me, at times in this film, it was on. There was, it was leaning on. You remember the score in Insidious? Now that score worked in that film, but for years following that film, everybody did it. You know, they ramped up 
uh, the sound department ramped up the music and the sound effects and it just like it gave you false scares um, and I think the music here was a bit overbearing a bit too loud and it didn't work in some of the scenes I think it probably could have been a little bit quieter the score and I thought the end became a little bit formulaic um, and um, n not maybe as full of as many surprises as it thought it was full of I kind of figured out what was going on by the end um, but it was it, you get a satisfying conclusion I think to the film if I'm being honest I'm not saying it's a bad ending I just think it from what came before it it was I thought it felt so strong what came before it I thought the ending just fell by the wayside and became a little bit too formulaic for my for my tastes but I think after saying all that I think what we get here is a high quality horror film certainly compared to the droves of horror films that are thrown out into the market these days of varying quality to find a horror film of some level of quality these days is not an easy task um, and I think they've stuck to the guns here um, they've got a very very strong premise like I say you know a 1970s hospital with a power cut uh, that's full of um, you know even some of the nurses are not particularly nice people um, and there's a real sense of sourness in the hospital and darkness um, and just you know of of the things that have gone on in this place I mean I used to work many many years ago in the early 90s in a hospital for people with learned disabilities that, you know that had been running for years previously it closed down in the very early 90s and you knew that this place had a history of me working there, you know what I mean? It, it, it would have had a really su a terrible history there, you know what I mean? Right back to the workhouse days and things. So you know that this hospital has got, you know, there's terrible things happened here. And that's what this film's trying to portray, really, in regards to these things that are going on. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It was almost an 8 out of 10. I think if the ending had been a little bit stronger, I think we'd have got there really with an 8 out of 10 or even maybe beyond that. But it's definitely worth checking out. It's I think it's a decent high quality horror film. Well acted, well made and with some pretty effective scares. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you like this review. I will be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.